Hi Flosstube, my name is Becca and this is Shadow and you have reached Sambri Stitches here on Flosstube. You can also find me on Instagram and TikTok and Facebook under Sambri Stitches as well. Today is Thursday, February 24th and this is Flosstube number 108. So I'm a day late in my two week rotation. I just didn't have the energy yesterday. Um, to get everything together and record, but I did get a lot accomplished, so I'm super excited. Before I jump in, I just wanna welcome all of my new subscribers. Thank you all so much uh, for giving my channel a chance. Um, it just means the world to me to have the love and support of everybody. And welcome back to my returning subscribers. Y'all are amazing. I love your comments. I love the support and we just have such an amazing, amazing stitchy community within the floss tube, uh, in, within the YouTube world, I guess. So, so thank you for that. Um, I wanted to mention, cause I've seen a few other floss tubers do this as well. Looking at the analytics of the channel, um, I have about 31% that watch my videos, but aren't subscribed. And I would really, really appreciate it if you do enjoy my videos to subscribe because Chrissy, who is finally a farm girl, and I made a pact because our channels are pretty similar with subscribers and, and tastes and, and how they, they run, and we're, we've become very close friends. But we've made a pact that when we both hit 10,000 subscribers, we will get stitchy tattoos. Um, Chrissy, I think, is going to get a mouse stitching because she loves mice, and she suggested um, that I get a Bigfoot stitching on my, because I have a stitching arm, like a crafting arm. Um, so I'm going to get a little Bigfoot right here stitching once we reach 10K. Now, she's in Florida and I'm in Washington, so we won't be able to do it together, um, but I plan on um, hopefully recording it or being live for part of it because I will be having a friend of mine who has done all my tattoos um, do it. So I'm sure he'll let me go live for a little bit so I can take my mind off of it. But please, um, please hit subscribe and, um, and show the love and the support for both of us. Um, and anybody that you watch, just, just make sure that you check and, and make sure that it says subscribed with a D instead of just subscribe, um, we would all appreciate it. We just, it's just the support and it just gets our uh, channels out there a bit more and gets me and Chrissy closer to our tattoos. <laughs> That'll be a lot of fun. Um, life update really quick. You saw the pictures, you know, at the beginning. Um, that's kind of the easiest way to do all the, the recap um, is just to put them in the intro, but we had um, an emergency with my grand kitty, Asa. My oldest daughter has a kitty and um, she was in pain after going to the bathroom. So um, we tried to get into, there's like three emergency vets, but not super close to us. Um, I think she got on the list around 11 or 12 midnight um, and they didn't call us until about 1.30 in the afternoon that we could bring her in. So uh, we brought her in. She was there for eight or nine hours. They did some testing and um, it turns out that she had crystals. So um, she's on special uh, food now and uh, doesn't seem to be having any issues. But man, emergency vets are crazy expensive. Um, and hard to get into in this area, apparently. But she's doing well now. Um, she's back to being feisty. She comes over and she uh, likes to get close to the bunny and just stare at him. And then I can hear him downstairs. He thumps because he gets mad. <laughs> so um, she's back to being her usual kitty self. Um, so that was kind of scary, though, because we weren't 100% sure what was going on. I guess um, they also said that she has anxiety. She has been through a lot. Um, before she was adopted, she was severely abused um, to the point where she had to have emergency surgery at the Humane Society. So I think that just that just messed her up. Um, 
So she's very skittish um, still, but I guess she has anxiety. So we have to just move slowly around her and, and that kind of stuff so we don't set her off again, but she's, she's improving. Um, then Valentine's Day came and my husband had a work call in the morning and then he got off uh, work early to spend the day with me and we went around couch shopping because we needed a new couch downstairs and we had lunch together and it was just a nice day spent together and um, got home and there was a package on the front porch and it was my Cricut maker. It showed up. He had bought me one for Valentine's Day, but it wasn't supposed to arrive until the end of the month, which was strange, but there it was. So that was exciting. I have not set it up yet. It is out of the box. It may end up being like my sewing machine where it took me over a year and a, or a year and a half before I touch it, <laughs> but I have it. Um, so that's exciting. That was very sweet of him. I got a bundled package that was a really good deal and it's got a ton, a ton of stuff that came with it. So we'll see when I have time to do that since now I am quilting um, and that takes up a bunch of time. Um, had our stitchy meetup, our local stitchy meetup. We meet up once a month on Saturday evenings and that was a lot of fun. Um, it was a smaller group of ladies and I just really enjoy, you know, I get off of work and I, I'll go there and relax and stitch and catch up with them. So that was a lot of fun. And then there was President's Day um, and my husband had that off. It was his normal day off, but so we went on an adventure. And this adventure, I think, was my most favorite one that we've got on yet. Um, he, our, our, his goal was to take me to a waterfall because he knows how much I love waterfalls. So on the way there, um, I didn't. I brought stitching, but I didn't stitch. Usually I do, but I decided to watch just out the window, and I'm glad that I did because <laughs> randomly I'd be like, "Oh my gosh." pull over, pull over, back up, do whatever. And he would do it. Um, so in the field of a farm, as you saw, there was what we think was a mom and dad eagle with their baby and they were eating something. And so I took pictures and videos of that. And that was like the coolest thing. And I stood there for a little while and just watched them. And it was absolutely breathtaking to watch. Um, and then we continued driving and we found snow. Um, I, the funny thing was it was raining and I was like, man, this would be so cool if it turned to snow. And it turned to snow. It was the coolest thing ever. So I got my snow. Um, the unfortunate thing was since there was so much snow in the area that we went to, they had shut down part of the road. So we couldn't get to the waterfall, but we still found some really cool things. You saw the bridge that we crossed and... Um, it was just beautiful. And then on the way back, after all the amazingness of seeing the eagles and the scenery, um, I'm watching out the window and I was like, what the heck did I see? And I'm freaking out in the car. <laughs> my, my husband is laughing at me. And I'm like, turn around, turn around, oh my God, turn around. I, th I think I saw elk, I think. You know, I'm like, I'm not sure. And, and he's like, okay, calm down, calm down. And so we had to drive a little bit because there was no place to turn around. I'm like, what if they're gone? They can't be gone. I'm, I'm literally freaking out. And he thinks this is just like the funniest thing ever. And he's making fun of me. So, <laughs> so we, we turn back around and we get back there and he pulls off the, the, to the side of this. There was a gravel driver across the way and I run across the street and there was a huge herd of elk. It was, and it was in a farmer's field. I mean, I took the video and the pictures. And then when I was done, a farmer was actually driving his tractor to the hay bales that were there. And literally they were right next to the elk and the elk didn't care. And they, I guess the guy didn't care either because he just continued. He was like, okay, whatever, they're back again. But here I am freaking out because like, you don't, you don't get to see stuff like that. It's very rare when we, we get to, spot elk when we go on drives and stuff because they're usually hiding. So that was just, that was, I think my most favorite adventure between seeing the eagles and then the herd of elk and the beautiful scenery of, you know, finding snow. It was just, it was the perfect day. It absolutely was a perfect day. Um, and then on the way back, we, we found a new local Chinese food place. 
And so we thought we'd try it and we walk in and there's like pool tables and dart boards and a full bar, but it was a Chinese food restaurant. So it was like the coolest thing ever. So we're gonna go back and play darts and eat Chinese food sometime. Um, but that was a lot of fun. Um, and then that next day, Tuesday, I drove down to Portland. That's a three hour drive for me um, to go to Cheryl's house. Uh, she is one half of Stitching with the Sister Lees. And she had driven to get Colleen and bring her down, which was awesome. Um, and then Audrey, Stitchy Witch 42 was there. Anna, Stitch Roadie, Quilt Roadies. Um, absolute flipping blast. It really, really was. Um, the, the Sister Lees, they uploaded the, like a video. Colleen had the camera running for a little bit. She claims that she did some editing, but there, <laughs> there's still stuff in there. Um, <laughs> At, at least it makes people laugh. I mean, I'm not embarrassed by the stuff that I said. If I told my friends, I'd tell you all anyways. But um, so even though I was there, I watched it again last night and I laughed just as much as when I was there in person. So if you need to laugh, go check out, <laughs> go check out their channel and their video that they uploaded. Um, Cheryl's house is absolutely beautiful. Her craft room is just, when I walked in, I was like, oh, what? what where am i um and she is so graciously quilting my first quilt for my husband um which was very very sweet of her to do and i really appreciate it i'm so excited to get it back um that's gonna be awesome but so i dropped that off down there too so when i get to the quilting portion because yes there's a quilting portion of my video now um, the, I'll have to insert pictures for all of it, but I'll, I'll explain it all. Um, and that is basically my two weeks in a nutshell. It was an amazing couple of weeks. I hope that it was for you as well. Um, I hope Valentine's Day wasn't too hard on, on everyone. I know that's kind of a, a weird day for some people, um, or just a normal day. Um, but for me, it's a super special one, and I've talked about it before. So it was really nice to be able to spend it with my husband when he when he took the day off. So um, a little bit of housekeeping. I just want to say that uh, I am honored and excited to be part of the Common Threaded Stitcher team again. It is an Instagram-based photo prompt uh, for the month of March and it's going to be a lot of fun it brings so many people together and i'm just really honored that uh kia and nathan um asked me to be part of the team again and i hope that everybody on instagram enjoys and finds a connection with somebody and participates because it's, it's going to be a blast so that starts march 1st if you're on instagram keep an eye out we'll be starting um today to let people know, which is very exciting. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, before I jump in, I just wanna do the giveaway winner um, so that we get it over with. Um, the giveaway winner for, it was to support Chris. She so generously sent a hard copy of the chart and all the the dmc and i need to stitch this um i really really want to stitch this but the winner is roxanne green so roxanne if you could send me an email my email will be down in the description box and just put giveaway winner um in the the title section and just shoot me your address and then i'll get this sent out so congratulations and thank you to everybody who supported Chris, ordered her charts, her floss bling. Um, really, really appreciate you supporting her. Many did it without even entering the giveaway. So it's a really, really good cause. And actually, I um, that inspired me because of what happened with Asa and the bill and the cost that it's going to take to... Um, you know, maintain and keep her healthy, that uh, my best friend, Anna, who is Stitch Toolbox on Etsy, 
um, she offered to chart a little like pin cushion type of pattern that I could sell just for a couple of dollars um, to uh, raise money to help pay for the vet bill for my grand kitty. So I will hopefully be working on that. Um, and she's just so kind to offer to chart it for me. So hopefully keep an eye out for that. We'll see, we'll see if I get around to it. I really, really would like to raise some money to help my daughter pay for that vet bill. So that was very kind of her. Okay, let's get in. I have, I'm gonna do all my stitchy stuff first <clears throat> and then I will do the quilting. Um, cause that's usually the format that people do. So I have a stitchy finish and this <clears throat> I'm super, super proud of. <clears throat> this is a uh, Prairie Moon. This is thine is the trick or treat. And this was gifted to me, um, by Hallie stitch and big things with Hallie. We were doing the stitch along. She bought us both the PDF chart so we could stitch it together and it is finished look at that so this is cauldron silk from be stitch me and this is an 18 count opalescent unnamed ada from be stitch me as well but look i love this so much and i'll be getting it framed but i'm waiting for like an 85 percent off deal but look how pretty that is this fabric i mean this fabric is awesome so, but yeah, this one was a long time, you know, process. Um, I had to frog a lot because like this, I think it was, oh wait, no, was it the witch? I can't remember. One of these motifs, I had to frog. I think it was this one um, because it was touching and, you know, everything spaced out. And I just love this. Oh my gosh. So I'm super proud of that. That's awesome. All right, let's jump into my whips. Um, the first whip that I have, eh, sorry, stuff's making noises. So the first whip that I have, I'm going to pull it up on my iPad because what I did is I went on and bought um, just a wool applique pattern. And um, I don't know if it will download or not. Well, you'll get the idea of it. This is not the actual picture of it, but. So I went on and bought this wool applique because I have a stack of wool already. So this is called Lucky Catch by Aunt Susie's House on um, Etsy. And what I did is I shortened it because I'm gonna make it a pillow. But last night I cut, traced and cut out and just made it smaller and I started stitching the, the coins, um, but I'm just gonna make this a pillow. And so that is my wool applique piece for Monday. Hopefully I'm gonna be stitching out, or s stitching out, switching out my Valentine's display for um, St. Patrick's because I'll do St. Patrick's up here and then down in my seasonal area, I'll switch it out for spring, so. All right, so that should be finished and fully finished into, I think a pillow is what I'm gonna do. Um, so for my first stitchy whip is going to be the sow, the stitch along that I am doing with Chrissy, finally a farm girl. Carla at Cobweb Corner is offering a discount on this chart if you would like to join us. It is a year long sow. It's gonna take a while to do it. Um, the information will down, be down below, but you can go to Carla's website to order this. And I love this so much. This is my floss and here's my floss bling. We had one specifically made for, for the Oh Snap Sal gingerbread. So if you want one, go check out Chris as the O flies. But these are the colors, love it. And I managed, ew, Oh, I have floss in my bag. I managed to get the house completed and backstitched. And this is on 18 count opalescent frost from Be Stitch Me. Look at that. 
So if you follow me on TikTok or Instagram, I I post little videos. Um, and I did a before and after backstitch video of this. And man, backstitching makes a difference. But look at that house. With this, I'm not using beads. I am using the Krynik. Um, and I'm just substituting the colors where the beads go. But I'm loving this so much. Um, and this is in a Just Crossing Stitches bag. Chrissy sent this to me, or sent me the link, and said we need uh, matching bags. And then for my zipper pull, Chrissy made this and sent it. So we have matching zipper pulls. I love it. So there is that one. I think my goal for this is just to do like one, well, I think my next goal is going to be like the lollipop and maybe the donuts and maybe the pretzels. But I'm trying to just do little motifs so, you know, it lasts through the whole year, but um, it's not like too overwhelming. That big house, that's going to be a beast. I know a couple of people started on that big house. So there's that one. Okay, y'all are going to be proud of me on this one. So, yes, I am an Ada-only stitcher. Um, I'm going to stick to that. But there are times where I want things a certain size to fit into a certain thing. Or when I start the Plum Street samplers, I think it's, I don't know if I'm starting the new Constellation. One of the three, um, it has over one. So I need to... I'm going to stitch on even weave. Not need to, but I'm going to. Because I can... I can make patterns work for Ada um, if they have over one, but I think for those three, Brandy sent me some e three pieces of even weave that match, and I think I'm gonna use those. Um, this, Blackbird Designs Long and Winding Road. I haven't touched this in a while. This was my anniversary start last year. My anniversary is on June 30th. So um, I started this last year because Aaron to Martini Stitcher had mentioned that this chart reminded her of my adventures with my husband. And so I had to, I had to start it for my anniversary because we do go on adventures. We do find long and winding roads and it was just the coolest thing. Um, so she inspired me. And my floss bling Chris had sent me this as a gift, as a custom floss bling of me and my hubby. If you want, she can turn any pictures into floss bling. So um, I'm going to, we took the group picture that you saw of us at Cheryl's house. And um, I'm going to ask her to make me a, a Mother Cluckers one, because that's our group. Or Beehive Cluckers, because Anna's house her place is called the Beehive, and then we're the Cluckers at Cheryl's. So maybe Beehive Cluckers, I don't know. Look at those colors. So I'm using the called for uh, Gentle Art. Y'all, this is on, where's my tag? Where's my tag? Um, 32 count fiber on a whim Lugana, and it's called Old Gold. Look how tiny that is. Look at that it's so tiny so the reason I want this tiny <clears throat> I'm hoping that it's going to fit on this Ray Dunn mug that I have that has two wedding rings on the front of it and then put it up in my wedding display so I'm going to put it on the top but that is so tiny I didn't even know how to put that into perspective this is the floss bling so it's the size of a floss bling that is crazy. Um, I do have to use a magnifier for this. Uh, I have a Halo Go that I use. The stitches are super tiny. I put, I don't know if you can see it, it says 1998 right here, and then our initial M down here. And so right now, I just need to finish. There's another thing over here and then there. So hopefully, this will be a finish in a couple of weeks. We'll see. And this is in one of my favorite bags from Anna Stitch Toolbox. She made me a Bigfoot bag. And I mean, my anniversary pieces have to go in a Bigfoot bag because we're obsessed with Bigfoot. So. 
Oh, actually, that, that adventure that we went on, the drive, that was into Bigfoot Country. Um, there's an article that somebody sent me in that area. There was like a lot of Bigfoot signs and sightings and stuff like that. Unfortunately, we did not see Bigfoot, but we did see some other cool things. All right. This one I pulled out on Valentine's Day. I was going to do a new start for Valentine's Day, but I started to get a little um, overwhelmed with my whips. So um, here's the floss bling. And actually I'm gonna replace this because Chris sent me a new floss bling that I'll show you in um, haul, Stitch of Kindness. But this is the pattern that my daughter bought me. It's love on a platter. You can get these off of one, two, three stitch. There's a whole bunch of different platters. Um, but I am really getting burnt out on this. I am just not, not a big fan of. So this is 18 count opalescent at the pond, I think, from, from Be Stitch Me. Um, but I have to stitch two strands. And what I did is the white. So I'm do I'm working on the envelope. That's what I did on Valentine's Day. It is beautiful, beautiful. And I have to use two strands because a lot of it is blended. Um, but man, I don't enjoy stitching it. So I don't know if I'm going to do the other platters. And then this needle minder, I get questions on a lot. I'm pretty sure that was from a Black Needle Society box. And I don't know, I don't think it's available. Um, but it's a little candy heart. See, it's a little candy heart thing. Although the needle wants to go underneath, it won't stay on the top there, which is obnoxious, but there's that. And then of course, I have a Bigfoot Valentine's bag. Linux Stitch Creates made this. And y'all have seen this, but I love how she just lines her fabric up. This is cool. I've not seen that done um, with other bags. So that that's... A lot of thought and talent goes into that. But. All right, there's that. I've got to make sure that goes back in, reach down. All right, this one I am loving. So this is a sal that I am doing with Shannon Bromo. She's the soda stitcher. And this is the Scarlet House, A Changed World. I love this so very much. And my floss bling is another gift from Chris of me and my girls. I'm using the called for DMC. It, the DMC does look different than the, the picture, just as a heads up, but I still love it. Um, and I am at the bottom. So I finished this, 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 and then some of the um, border. I love this so much. So my goal is to take this to StitchCon to put the last few stitches in and then get more of my friends. You can see the initials. I have a list of people who have put their initials on here. Um, at StitchCon, I'm going to have a few of my friends put their initials on this and this is just a super special piece this is a stitch along so it's the hashtag is be the change sal um and then this is on 20 count grog from be stitch me it's a, a very nice neutral y'all wait until you see what brandy sent me um for my birthday she sent it as a late birthday gift and she she spoiled me. Oh, I have no words. Um, another bag by Lynette, Lynn X Stitch Creates. I thought this was perfect for Be The Change. Girl power. Love one another. That's what we need more in this world is more love and kindness. For sure. All right. Two more. I'm leaving the elk for the last one. Um, this is a sal that I am co-hosting with Colleen of Stitching with the Sister Lees and Chrissy, finally a farm girl. This is uh, Twin Peak Primitives Patriotic Ornament Book. And 
um, our hashtag is TPP Ornament Sal, and you can stitch any Twin Peak Primitives ornament. Um, we're stitching these. And of course, I chose the largest one. I chose the eagle. Um, this, oh, this is my flossling. Um, and Brandy had mentioned that she received a couple of questions about the floss that I've been using. Um, and I think I posted it on Instagram, but I'll tell you here, just in case you're wondering, because I'm using her silks. So I'm using Cauldron. I'm using Nebula. This is the only one that's not hers. This is Betsy Floss from Coloring Cotton. So this is a cotton, not a silk. I'm using Red Barn. And then I'm using Mud Skipper. So those are the Brandy silks, the Stitch Me silks. And this is where I am at. This is on an 18 count 1776 from Color and Cotton. I think this was a limited edition in their box. Um, and I need to figure out the one star, you can't even really see it, it's right here. But the cream blends into the fabric, so I don't know if I should outline it. Right now, I'm working on filling in. This is what I did at uh, Cheryl's house, was just filling in the eagle. This is a lot of fill-in. But man, it looks good. And then I need to finish, I think there's, I need to finish the flag, and then it says USA. So there's still quite a bit left on this to do. I have a car appointment today. I'll probably take this to do the, the fill-in on. Um because that'll just be mindless stitching and then I don't have to bring as much stuff. So there's that one. And then last but not least, if you were watching, um, oh, sorry, I forgot about the bag. This is from the 805 stitcher. Yeah. Um, if you were watching the Sister Lee's they showed this, Audrey showed this, she was my Vanna, because um, Anna had asked me to bring the elk so that she could see it. This is Elk Anthem by the First Lady of Cross Stitch. It is huge, huge, huge. Uh, my husband keeps making jokes that, um, because this has been an ongoing thing for years, I just didn't want to stitch it. And he really, really wants it. So he jokes that when it's finished, it's going to go on his grave, basically, because I've been taking so long and he just wants it done. Um, so far, I am at 33.19%. I am 27,484 stitches out of 82,800 stitches. So I've got a ways to go. This is on 18 count oatmeal that I just bought at Michael's uh, for cheap. How did they fold it? Oh, they folded it this way. Okay. And I am super, super proud of where I'm at. I, look at that. Oh Seeing it in the camera is amazing. The elk's face, he made an appearance. The trees are filling in. Oh my goodness. And then the, the other elk, the other female elk over here is making an appearance, you can see. This is one strand on 18 count. And um, I'm just gonna show you because I am proud of it and I showed the ladies. This is my back. It is a mess I carry because there's no way that I am, uh, but you can still see the outline, like it's still, you can still see the picture. But yeah, my back is, is super messy. This piece is huge. Um, and I'm okay with it. So, but yeah, that, that's my goal. So my goal is to hopefully have this finished by Christmas. Um, but then Cheryl made the suggestion because I told them this story about how my husband says, you know, that'll be his funeral when this is finished. She's like, just leave a couple stitches out because then it's never done. And I'm like, good point. Um, this bag, I got it off a of stash on blending. I have no idea who made it, but 
I love the outdoor, well, you can't really see it, but it's in like an outdoor woodsy theme. That's perfect for the elk. So those are all of my whips for stitching. Now for quilting, I'm gonna have to insert pictures because I dropped off my quilt to um, Cheryl and I'm very proud of it. I'm not a, I'm, I'm not a quilter, so the only fabric that I know is the five inch charm pack that I bought was a um, Riley Blake, it's called Timberland. Um, and then I sat and cut out a ton of five inch squares for the tree fabric and the yellow, I think it's batik, is that right? I don't even know. I, have n I know nothing about fabrics. Um, and then went to my friend Melissa's house and we laid it all out on her giant table, which was awesome. And I sewed the first row there. And then after that, I just, I wanted it done. So I finished sewing it at home and my husband loves it. I laid it on him. It's, he's six foot tall. And I think it was like, I think it was up to maybe his neck and that was perfect um, for him. So he really liked that. And so I will show the finished product when I get it back from Cheryl. I'm very excited that she's quilting it and hopefully I bought the right supplies. I tried, <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Um, and then I'm working on my second quilt for my younger daughter, she asked for a quilt. So um, I posted the video last night um, and you'll see the pictures as I'm talking that she picked out some space fabric and I just got these fabrics from Joann's, my husband's quilt I got from quilting shops. Um, but the space fabric I she chose from Joann's and then I found a couple matching jelly rolls just randomly um, at Joann's and the the colors just matched and it was it was just perfect um and so i found um let me see if i can show you i found a pattern a free pattern at fat quarter shop and um oh there it is i'm like i know i put it on my and so it's a free pattern it's the jelly roll twist quilt um, so it looks like that. So yesterday, I just wanted some quiet time. So I just turned on music. Um, I cut all of the fabric. So I cut out the 42 five inch squares, 42, four and a half by nine rectangles. So I sewed together two jelly roll pieces. And then I cut them into nine inches and then another 42, four and a half by five inch pieces. So I got all the, the sewing and the cutting done. And then when my daughter got home last night, we spent about an hour and a half laying out the fabric. I let her do the design um, and hopefully, I took a picture of it, so hopefully I can recreate that and that it all lines up. We'll see. Because when we were laying it out, it didn't seem like it was lining up properly. So I may have to, I don't know, fudge it. I have no idea. Um, but so I'm excited about that. Um, I will get that going. So those are my those are my quilts. So I have a quilt top finish and a quilt top start. All in the span of two weeks. <laughs> um, really quick. Let's do what's new with the Fat Quarter Shop because um, they sent me a couple of things and one of them is going to be a giveaway. So the first thing that they sent me was a Stitchy Stand by Lori Holt of BMI Bonnet uh, for It's So Emma. So it came in this cool package, like it was really neat. Um, so it was inside of this and this is what they sent and I was actually using it for my iPad. Um, this is really neat. It's got a pouch here. It's got a little like lip here that um, I was setting my iPad in. It's got a pouch on the side, another pouch on the side, two pouches on the back. I mean, this thing is like, and the nice thing is like you can open it. 
I'm not sure. And it also unzips so, so you can clean it. Like this thing is super cool. I'm really happy that they sent this. Um, I may let my daughter have this because she probably would need something. She stitches as well. Um, so this is available in Fat Quarter Shop and it looks like it is about $32.98. Um, so this is pretty, pretty cool. So you can put like your scissors or your needles and that kind of stuff in it. Um, it's got a space for, you know, books, tablets and other devices, it says. Um, the drawstring bag is exclusively designed for the stitchy stand and is not available for individual purpose. So this, <clears throat> this only if you buy this, you get a, the bag, which is kind of neat. Um, so that's kind of cool. And then the other thing they sent me, um, Christmas in July is coming up. So they sent me the Oh Dear cross stitch pattern by It's So Emma. So this is going to be my giveaway for today. Um, most of you probably already know of the Fat Quarter Shop. They're very generous in sending a few of us items to show y'all and to do giveaways. And I'm going to be ordering a bunch of fabric from them now too. Because my older daughter wants a, I think a butterfly flower type of quilt. Um, so I'll be ordering stuff from them. So this, um... Finish size is 5.875 by 6.5 inches uh, on 14 count. And, and this is printed on cardstock, so it's pretty durable. Their patterns are really, really nice. So if you would like this pattern, just say deer. D-E-E-R. Deer. Um, please be a subscriber, so make sure that you've hit the subscribed button. Because I do check, I can go through the comments and see um, who's a subscribed and who's not. So I would appreciate it if you did. Get me closer to that 10,000 so we can get our stitchy tattoos. All right. Now I'm going to reach down and start grabbing kindness and haul and stuff. So I'm going to be bending down. Y'all, I'm going to start out with brandies. Brandy sent me this box, right? And she sent me a note that just said, uh, it just said, I hope these keep you busy for a little bit. For a little bit. Brandy is the most generous person I know. It's, it's crazy. Okay, so she sent me a scissor fob. This is gorgeous. This, look at this butterfly and it's gray and white. Beautiful. Are you ready? So before I show you these, Brandy has a discount code um, for my subscribers. It will be in the description box. It is a one-time discount code. Even if you've already ordered from her before and you've not used it, um, you can use it. And if you want to try her fabrics, use the code. Um, I am obsessed. I think it's pretty much really the only thing, um, the only fabrics I stitch on now which I feel kind of bad because I have a bunch of other fabrics. I have Fortnite fabric, Seraphim, Picture This Plus, um, Color and Cotton, but I always gravitate towards brandies when I'm pulling um, fabric for a new start. Um, I'm speechless. So she sent me this box for my birthday. She sent me a yard of 18 count, not another sampler fabric. This is like the perfect, it looks a little bit lighter. Hopefully it's coming across for you guys. Um, this is the perfect neutral. And I love the name, not another sampler. Um, I love it. A yard, okay. Then she sends me a half yard of 18 count mocha. And she sent an 18 by 21 cut of oat. Oat is really pretty. And then um, a half yard of lunar. And these are 18 count as well. So it's like a grayish blue. So pretty. And keep an eye out. So Brandy is going to Nashville 
which is awesome. I'm very, very excited for her. I've already asked uh, Janina Acorns and Threads, um, and I asked Chrissy if she would let uh, her shop Brick City know. If any of you are interested in your shops carrying Brandy's fabrics, reach out to them and ask them to go see her at Nashville. Um, you do not want to miss out on these fabrics. And she has plans to, we've been talking about putting bundles together. Um, so she does have plans to put like a neutral bundle together and um, get that posted. But she right now, she needs to get, you know, stuff done for Nashville. But I'm very, very excited for her. I'm, I, we've become close friends and I've been a huge fan of hers from day one where she was still working full time and then just dyeing fabrics to where she was able to step back to part time and continue dyeing fabrics to where she was able to quit and do her fabrics and silks full time to where she was able to get her own shop, like her own dyeing studio and do this full time. Like I could not be more happier for her um, that our community has embraced her fabrics and she's just amazing and she's so generous in her facebook group and she's so generous to me and others who order from her um she sent a half yard of ledger i like ledger it's like bluish cream i love this she sent an 18 by 21 piece of catacombs She sent a half yard of Stonehenge. Stonehenge is like really, really nice gray. She sent a half yard of Bronze Age. I'm getting teary eyed. You have no idea the amount of stitchy kindness that I've received this couple of weeks. Um, an 18 count, 18 by 21 of winter blues. Brandy, if you're watching, I know you're probably super busy with markets. So I'm not sure if you're watching, but we've already talked anyways. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I want to show you this amazing tote bag that I had my friend Heather Punky Pearls make uh, for retreats. Get ready because you're going to be enabled. Okay. So this is it. This is what she is calling the supersized everyday tote. So it's the larger version of just the standard everyday tote that she makes. The fabric is from the Rifle Paper Company. I saw her make another bag with it and I just had to have it. Um, this is Heather Punky Pearls. That's who made the bag. And oh my gosh, this thing is amazing. She made the handles to where they would lie flat, which is awesome. It's got a zipper pouch here. Or she actually made this wallet as a gift for a few of us. And it fits perfectly in there. Okay. And then when you look inside, she said that this inside can get wet, I believe, so I can wipe it out. There's a zipper pouch here that goes really deep so so cool and then I'm going to flip this around because there's two pockets here so I use an iPad mini for stitching I put my patterns on that and use it it fits right in there I also use this which Heather also made for us it's just a little pouch that has my goodies in it that fits perfectly in there I use these large project bags. This is why I wanted a supersize tote. Jan Holder, you can follow her on Instagram, made this. Fits in there. My Hey Logo also fits in there. My lap stand, my Case Creation lap stand also fits in there. And you can fit another couple project bags in there. And then let me show you it all zipped up. And here it is, all zipped up, all my goodies inside. I cannot wait to take this bag with me. I'm going to StitchCon Weekend A. 
and this is going to be my carry-on bag. If you're interested in any sort of bag or purse or uh, project bag, you can follow my friend Heather, Punky Pearls on Instagram, and also Jan Holder on Instagram as well for the larger project bags. Both of them are good friends of mine, close, close friends of mine. I appreciate if you would go and support them, you will not be disappointed. I'm trying not to edit because I need to go to my car appointment soon. So yesterday at um, Cheryl's, Audrey made us these awesome little, and they're out of toilet paper rolls. <laughs> That's like the coolest thing ever. I mean, we are the cluckers, so I guess, I don't know, chicken's poop. So it goes with toilet paper rolls. I don't know. We just thought it was like the coolest thing ever that she repurposed it. Um, and she told us it was toilet paper rolls, but it's like a little pin holder and then there were different ones of these and the ladies thought that because i'm a quilter now i needed the sewing machine one audrey makes the coolest things out of like paper toilet paper rolls i mean you should go watch stitchy witch 42 on youtube uh, because she shows like her junk journaling and the cool stuff that she designs and then um colleen and cheryl we got a little card and then I think Cheryl or Colleen I think Colleen made this I love this we each got one of those and then <laughs> we got a mug this might be my new favorite and you know how much I love Ray Dunn but look she had a mother cluckers and it was filled with chocolate eggs um, clearly I ate some because it was filled to the brim. But look at that. Colleen and Cheryl, thank you. Thank you, Audrey. The, yes, yesterday, or two days ago, was amazing. I was going to say yesterday, but it feels like it was yesterday. I have hair in my mouth, sorry. All right. This is from uh, Lori. And I didn't ask to say her last name or anything, but she had reached out and asked if I wanted some Mill Hill kits. And I'll be using some of these for a giveaway, but this one I'm going to stitch. So she sent that one. That one I'm going to stitch. This one might be a giveaway at some point. How generous. This was so, so nice. This might go on my silent night display. And then the Santa. That was very, very sweet and very generous because these are full kits that are unused. So thank you so much for thinking of me. I really, really appreciate it. Um, and then I'm just gonna make Stitchy Kindness with Haul because I didn't separate it and I don't wanna edit <laughs> because I got stuff to do. Um, so when I went down to Cheryl's for the Stitchy Meetup, I met my sister at Acorns. I did pre-order a few uh, market things. Speaking of that, Chrissy and I and Stitchy Linda were going to do a video next week with our market release uh, wish list. I didn't order every single thing on there, but that'll be a lot of fun. Um, I think we're planning on filming it on Wednesday, so it should go up by Wednesday evening. Um, and then market is that following weekend. So I plan on going down to Acorns. Um, I think Susan Stanley, Stitch in Time, um, and I are going to make a trip to Acorns for market release. Also, um, if you haven't checked out the interview with the Floss Tuber, I did an interview with Susan Stanley. She is absolutely amazing. And it was crazy in the comments to see how many fellow left-handed stitchers or ambidextrous people uh, like myself and um, like Susan. It's, it was awesome to see. Um, there's more of us than I thought. So that was pretty neat. Anyways, back to my haul. So I just bought two things at Acorns. And remember how I said I'm not a reproduction sampler stitcher? This jumped out at me. <laughs> It's like, it's a Scarlet House, <coughs> excuse me, 
Charlotte Murdoch, 1815. I mean, dogs. I love the Scarlet House. Um, I may not put this bottom part down there, the name. I may just do that, or I may put um, Shadow, Emma, and Champ, our three dogs, on there. And then I only needed three floss for it. I had the rest. Then the other one, it's not like I need more Christmas stuff, but they still had a Christmas display out, and I fell in love with this. Chrissy, you might need this too. I don't know if you have it. Peace on Earth sampler from Cottage Garden Samplings. I mean, I want to start that now. And it calls for gentle art sampler threads. It does have DMC alternate, but I have all the, the gentle arts in my stash. This is so beautiful. Um, I can barely read it though. I heard the bells on Christmas day. The old familiar carols play and wild and sweet the words repeat, I think, or I don't know, of peace on earth, goodwill to man. It's hard for me to read. I have uh, bifocals. I have an eye appointment coming up to get better glasses. Um, clearly I need them because I can't read that tiny writing. What else do I have in here? I don't even know what I have at this point um, in here. Oh, um, Kim, sweet Kim. Um, I love that she calls herself Texan in Michigan because when she started sending me surprise packages, she lived in Texas and now she lives in Michigan. She just sent me like three little scissors from Amazon as a surprise. I love, I love Kim. I hope that um, if my husband and I go back to Michigan to visit his family, um, I'm hoping that we can meet up depending on where you live. Because there's a stitchy shop in Saginaw, I think. Uh, so I'll be reaching out. But thank you so, so much. All right. Um, this was unnecessary, but very sweet. It was a card. And um, it was a thank you card. And it's a thank you card from Susan because I interviewed her. She did not need to send me a thank you card, um, but not only did she send me a thank you card, she sent me a gift. She sent me a look. I might just put that in my display and not use it, but it's a notebook. Is that not adorable? sent me that. She sent me a little Bigfoot charm. A Sasquatch. But the coolest thing, and I kept this wrapped because I didn't want it to break, is she found a Ray done, and I don't have this one. I love it. So thank you, Susan. I'm so excited that we have plans um to go down to acorns together that's gonna be a lot of fun for sure so that was very very sweet i just kept things in envelopes <laughs> um so this was a gift from tina she had reached out because she had an extra magazine and i did not have it so she sent me the halloween edition this is 2021 just cross stitch um, and I didn't have this one, so I'm super excited. And there's actually some really cute patterns that I need to stitch for sure. Um, so thank you so, so much, Tina, for thinking of me. And that is definitely going into my stash. My floss fix from Fat Quarter Shop arrived, and these were um, pinks. So it came with Creamy Peach, Miss Madeline, Spun Sugar, Lavender Louise, Sugar and Spice, and Marvelous. And I didn't have any of these, um, I don't think. So 
I was very excited to get that. And then Chris, because she watched my last update and I was like, I need a Valentine floss blank. I did not expect her to send it to me. She's just too kind. Um, but she sent a card and um, it was a happy Valentine's Day. And then I love that she sends, I'm going to have a collection of these. <laughs> then I'm going to be able to kit up a pattern with them. Um, her floss card and it has all her information on the back but of course I link her down below so but she sent me a valentine's one let me take this out of the plastic so you can see look at that so that's the front and then on the back is a hug me I love this a heart as light as air to keep and hold with care Thank you, Chris. And thank you again, everybody, for going and supporting her. Her, She's so talented and so generous. I am truly blessed by this community and how generous and thoughtful everybody is. I really am. So I ordered um, from Michelle under the Wool and Willow. Oh, I think I already used my little... Usually she sends a little... Um, I don't even know what they're called, penny thing bookmark, but I ordered another strawberry. And then I ordered a couple of kits. I didn't get this done in time, but I'll get it done next year. So they're kits. So I ordered a Valentine's Be Mine one and it has all the goodies in there. And then I ordered an Old Glory and it's got the goodies in there to make that. So very excited to make those. Um, under the Woolen Willow, her stuff is amazing. And let's see, I have a couple other things in here. Um, so this bag I ordered from my long distance stitchy bestie. Look at the, oh. This was a card, a handcrafted card from my long distance bestie. Look at that. That is just beautiful. Beautiful. And look at the envelope. It's so cute. So um, I ordered from her this bag, a rescue bag so that I could stitch Chris's pattern and have this bag to store it in. But look at this, so cute. So stitch to a box. And she sent me, cause she also makes um, floss wraps. So she sent me as a gift, a whole bunch of uh, poop. The poop emoji, floss drops, I love them. Oh wait, I have them sideways, it goes like this. There we go. So the holes, and then I have quite a few, so I'm super excited for that. I'm not, I gotta find a perfect project for these, um, for sure, but I told her that those are definitely something that I needed. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see this. She sent a giant one. <laughs> and there's more in here. Oh my gosh. I'm seriously like a, a two-year-old child at heart, I guess. Um, my husband is definitely a child. You would think that he would be like the most serious person from the way he looks. No, he acts like a toddler. Um, and then she also sent me, um, blessed to call you my friend. I love you, Anna. Someday we'll get to meet in person. We were supposed to meet at StitchCon, but she didn't get in. And then she sent me a little angel drop. She's so sweet. We better meet someday. And then my last goodie. Look at this card. From the disorderly stitcher her name is nancy she made me oh wait i want to reread this because 
Oh, yeah, don't let quilting frustrate me. <clears throat> Thank you. That's not. She made me this bag. Chrissy, look at this. Look at all the gingerbread. So thank you so much. I love like this old fashioned type of, oh, I love it. Love it. So um, more gingerbread. I think I might move my gingerbread into this one because I really, really love this one. I might do that. Yeah. So that was all my stitchy kindness and haul. I am speechless. Every go around, every, every, not go around, every video, how generous everybody is. One last thing is I posted a couple haul, um, like finishing find videos. And so I'm going to insert those. Um, Hi everybody. My name is Becca and I'm Sambri Stitches on all social media platforms. You can check out my YouTube channel um, under Sambri Stitches as well. I am filming this on my lunch break. I found some amazing Target goodies in the Target dollar spot and Goodwill goodies. So I wanted to share it with you. The first one is from Target dollar spot. They have a brown one of this too. Um, these are $5 and they're, it's a wall decor shelf. I thought that was pretty cute. So I got the white one. Um, and then they have these cutting boards that we can mount cross stitch pieces on. This one was also $5. Love that. They had a circle one that had a whole bunch of flowers on it too, but I left that one. Could not pass up this adorable bunny. $5 as well. Isn't he cute? I love it. Then they had a whole bunch of like figurines and stuff too. So they had white ones, but I got the brown ones because I liked the pose that they were in. And these are $3. They're just a two pack of small wooden bunnies. And I'll show you um, why I got these when I show you the Goodwill finds. Um, I also got a white washboard. They also have brown. This was $3. This is perfect for a cross stitch piece. Or your needle minders and like a cross stitch piece if you can do like a needle worker piece. So couldn't pass that up. They also had this for a dollar, um, but I'm just going to use the back. I'm going to take the tag off and just display it with a green. But for a dollar for my St. Patrick's display, I couldn't pass it up. And then the last decor piece, they had a ton of bunnies. They have big brown wooden bunnies. They have the white ones, all different poses. I chose this one. Um, this is $3 and I just figured it'd look cute for like my Easter or spring display. And then for Goodwill, y'all, I could not pass these up. These are bear paws in my size. Yeah, they need to be wiped down, but they're in great condition. And I got them, it was $30 and then 30% off. And these are probably about a hundred, I think regular. I don't know. I don't pay regular price for like the high end boots. And then at Goodwill, this thing is heavy. I also got this and I'm going to paint it, but Brenda Gervais with I Needle and Thread has, um, I think the, I think there's a pattern that there's like a bunny or something in this. So I'm going to paint it and then I'm going to stitch that and mount it. I don't know if it'll get done this year. This thing is heavy and this was $4. So, I mean, this is perfect for a spring display. I could not leave that. And then the last thing that I got from Goodwill, this is a Target dollar spot. Um, thing. It was $5. Goodwill had it for $2.99, but then it was 30% off. So I'm going to put like the little bunny figurines in there and like, you know, put that into my decor display. So this was a pretty good haul day on my lunch break. And I just wanted to share and, and inspire people to run out to um, Target and get your decor stuff. Talk to y'all later. Um, but I did get some more stuff from Target the other day that I didn't include in there. So they have these little kits. These are $3 for like your tiered tray. So I got that one. We only had um, two of each. And then I got this one for Easter. Three bucks. So I grabbed those two. And this candle was $3, but I had to get it because I finished the Cherry Hill Stitchery Deanna's pattern. And it said um, prone to malarkey and, and shen shenanigans. So this is going to be displayed next to it. And that was in the Target dollar spot. Um, 
And then I don't know if I included this one. I included the other bunny. This was $5 and it's wood. And I mean, cross stitch piece right there. That'd be perfect. And then the last thing I could not leave behind. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. It's just, this was $5 in the do Target dollar spot. Is that not adorable? Oh, bunny ears. So, I I mean, I know what I'm gonna do. It's gonna go on my display. So, um, I'm gonna insert the videos of the other haul that I found from there and from Goodwill so you can see that, but hopefully that gives you some ideas you know, to think outside the box, like I found a, a watering can thing that I need to paint from Goodwill um, that, you know, you could put a spring or an Easter piece on and you just have to walk around and kind of visualize um, what you, you know, what you want to put on it, I guess. But I, I have a nice stockpile of finishing pieces, but it's just a lot of fun. It really is. Hopefully you were enabled and inspired and enjoyed the video. That is the end. It was a longer one today, but I appreciate you sticking through to the end. Please share, um, share the, my video, share Chrissy's video, get the word out. We would really, really appreciate it. We really want to reach our goal because I would love to get my tattoo. <laughs> I'm super excited about it, but I'm sure it'll take a while because I think we're we're just above um, 6,000 subscribers, so it'll be a while, but I think it'll be fun to, to watch the numbers grow and um, get closer and closer to our goal. So that's gonna be a blast. So I think that is it. Um, keep an eye out on Instagram for Common Threaded Stitcher, um, and um, I shall see you probably next week if we get that video put together. I think we'll upload it on my channel and on Chrissy's channel. Um, Linda doesn't have a, a YouTube channel, but um, if you want to see what I'm doing in between videos, you can follow me on TikTok, you can follow me on Instagram, and you can follow me on Facebook, all under Sambri Stitches, and they'll be linked down below. So until I see you all again in a week or two weeks, um, happy stitching, everybody.